Alrighty ho, here we are again um, and we are on to painting the flowers on here. So we've got our stems on from the last one and so we're going to go into painting the flower. Now, <laughs> during the time I've been uploading it, my purple paint has dried off a little bit. Now acrylics, once they're fully dry, you won't be able to rework them. But at this stage, I can go into there and get a bit more wetness in there and get that back to usable okay so let me zoom us in again it was quite good that zoom wasn't it i was quite impressed with myself whoa she but oh George, steady St now where 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 there that's that's okay isn't it you can see the roses you can see the roses the only trouble is i can't actually get at them right let's just whoa whoa there we are okay <laughs> Hope you're admiring the supreme professionalism again. Right, so I've got this nice purpley colour here on my palette. Whoops, just dipped my finger in the blue as well. So I've got my purple there, there. And I'm going to start painting that. And I'm going to paint that basically onto the bottoms to middles of the petals. Now, oh dear, you see this is the trouble, isn't it? I need to keep it still. Um, hang on, I'm going to zoom out a bit. No, oh, no, I've done it again. I've done it again. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, too far, in a bit. We could do an hour like this. Right, so I'm gonna start off and I'm just gonna paint the bottom of each petal, more or less. I, again, I am not worrying. I've got outlines on here and I'm just following those outlines. So we will put the bottom of that one in. And while you're doing this, the rose will look like a bit of a blob. You know, so be prepared for your rose to look a bit of a blob. So I've just put, let me lift that up so you can see that. That petal there, I have just put the bottom of it in. Okay, nothing else, just the bottom in mid-purple. This doesn't matter. This is the thing I, I want you to believe me on. It doesn't matter. You can do this any way you like. I could do these all in mid-purple and it would still look vaguely rosy. It's a rose. It's there, it's drawn. We know it looks like a rose-ish, so we don't have to worry. I'm just going to extend that petal because I seem to have got my rose here flying away from its sepal. So let's just change its shape a little bit to sort that out. Okay, so now I'm just going to dip in my water. That purple's a bit thick. Part of that will be because I walked off and left it to upload the other video. Okay, so now I'm putting purple in here. And I have got here as well my drawing the the design so that I can see because as I put this purple in you can see in the middle here I've lost that the lot the line if I bring the drawing down this line here in the petals has been lost by the paint but that's okay I can find that again later so I've got my drawing near me so I can see what I'm doing and I'm just putting in the bottom of petals and I am not worrying too much on some of these particularly when it's been late at night when I'm doing them I mean they really haven't looked anything like a rose to my mind but they do when you in the fullness of time and when you get them all out they look rosy so okay and then the bottom of this one I'm just using again, I'm adding water to my paint to keep it nice and fluid, but not so much that it bleeds. If it does bleed, don't bother about it. Don't stress yourself about any of this. It's not worth it. It really isn't worth it. It's only a rose. It's only a painting. It's only a bit of fabric. It's not the end of the world. If you botch it all up, just start again. Okay. Okay, so I've done the bottom of that petal. Now in the middle, I'm going to do the bottom of this one around the centre of the rose. And I'm going to leave the centre of the rose to do in light and dark. So this all looks a bit... Oh, there's another petal there. There's another petal. This all looks a little bit peculiar at the moment. Actually, looking at it in the camera, it looks like rather a nice purple and white rose. You know, I'm almost inclined to leave that like that, but we won't. But you can see, as I'm looking at it here myself, I swear to God, it looks terrible. But, you know, I get a bit of distance from it on the camera and actually it looks quite rosy. So you can see I've just filled in the bottom of all of the petals. I'm going to do the same on the littler rose over here. Oops, I just <laughs> keep dipping my fingers in different paints here. Just keeps a bit of variety going, doesn't it? So I'll do that one, the bottom of this one. And if you feel anxious about this, just get out a piece of paper or some of the spare fabric and have a bit of a practice. It's no rocket science, honest. I'm just painting in between lines. I'm almost painting by numbers, except that I'm going to add the shading myself. Um, so we'll go around this one and again. Whoops, 
splashed a bit. I've just wiped out the middle of the rose there, but never mind, we can come back and add that in. And we'll do this one. On here, that's that boyo. There we go. And so that's that. The bottom of all those petals look in. And again, not looking particularly rose-like, but I've got my information in. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I need to decide, I'm going to put a lighter one on the end of the petals. So I'm going to just simply take some of my purple onto here and add some white. How easy was that? Very easy, okay? So we've got a nice, I'm going to make a bit more of that because there's quite a bit on the end of them. Okay, a bit more white. That's a nice colour, I like that. Okay, so, sorry, I've done that completely out of camera shot. Well done, me. Professionalism to the fore. Hope you enjoyed me just going, oh, yes, that's nice, that's nice, oh, that's nice. Here we are. You can see now, all I've done is taken that there purple and that there white and put them together in this there light purple. That easy, okay. So if we get some of that on my brush, come back to my rose, I'm going to put this in on the tips of the petal. Okay, so I'm giving it a bit of a two-tone, two-tone look. Okay, so you can see that going in. I'm going to do the same over here. And again, I'm going to stress this. I also stress it in your instructions just to remind you I am not going for realism here. This is not how a rose actually looks, but it's looking okay. I'm also going to stitch into this, for me, probably by machine. Um, I machine embroider it. You might choose to hand embroider it. Um, so I can add a lot more detail than if I need to or tweak things up. And remember, these are a fabric paint. So if this all goes horribly, <laughs> all goes horribly wrong, and I don't, I'll just start again over the top of it. You can just paint straight over the top of them. So don't let this become stressful. Put that one on there. That's a whole petal I've left out behind there. So I might just leave that a moment. I'll do this one. You can see why I put the stems in first, because it does help you to see what I'm doing. I did notice on the show, I got myself mixed up. What a surprise. And forgot to put my stems in. First, I did have a Blue Peter stems in first one ready, but then I proceeded to paint in another one. Got overexcited, very typical. Okay, and then this one. I'll put this boy in. That's into that. And then let's have a look. That one there, I need to do in darker. This one here, I'm going to do the tip of the centre there. I need to do the outside of that petal. I'm just following the lines and looking back at my drawing where I need to, to see what's going on. Ah, and now I can see that's the outside of a petal there. So let's put that in light. That'll work quite nicely, I think. And then this one, oh, right, what have I done there? That's quite interesting. I've got, okay, so that should be there. It needs some dark down the back. Ah, okay, that should have been, let's get some mid on my brush because I can see quite a few places where it should have been mid. Oh, tricky now because let's put a bit of blue, a bit of red in there just to darken that up. Okay, that'll do. It's not the same colour, but I'm not too bothered. We'll just put some of that. <laughs> now I've got a bluey, purpley red one. And do we care? Not really. Okay, so we've got that and I'm now going to come in with my darkest colour. So I'm going to take that purple and I am going to add. Shall I do it in the camera this time instead of just talking about it? Let's move my rosy. Okay, so I'm going to get a bit of black, add it to this purple and darken it down a bit. Might add a bit more red and blue in there just because I'd lost some of that while I was uploading but that's coming up quite nice and darker now I like that that's good that's a good color that's a deeper purple so put that to one side palette the old palette I could turn it around the right way it saves me dipping in several different colors en route okay so I've now got a dark one so I'm going to put the center of the rose in with that for sure and then I'm just going to go like we did with the leaves I'm going to go into the bottom of my rose petals and just add a bit more, a bit of darkness down here. So I'm going in here and I'm adding a little bit of darkness down here, that's all. This does not look realistic. Please believe me, this is not a realistic rose. It's not meant to be and it 